Park Car and a great credit, a really professional team of Brian Church. It is indeed. John entered racing in November 79, built this car, his first ever race, March 1980, and he won the 850 championship. And in second place there are Mike Smith and in third, Stuart Cosgrove. So, so the race leader at the beginning of the second lap, one lap completed, is John Tracy, number 31 there, coming out of Shell Corner. In second place, we have number 40, Mike Smith. Then we have Stuart Cosgrove just going inside. Leslie Griffin there, Stuart Cosgrove, one of the directors of the Modella Motor Racing Circuit here and somebody who's come back to racing after an 11-year absence. As John Smith and the brother, the immaculate brother, going like a sewing machine. John is repeating his performance of the Phoenix Park two weeks ago, an immaculately prepared car. He drives very well. As I said, it's his second year now in racing. No background for racing. That's Larry Mooney on the grass in the Mazda. And we're back to our leader, number 31, John Tracy, who I think has been caught very, very slightly by Mike Smith, number 40. So Tracy there with a threat from Smith in the uh, plainer green-colored car just behind him. Mike Smith from Kells, both 850cc minis. Very quick little motor cars for the amount of power that they have. And in third place, coming down the hill now, it looks like Leslie Griffin. Leslie Griffin up into third with Stuart Cosgrave in fourth. And right behind him, in fact, number 68, Leslie Griffin unfortunately had problems in practice and he was way down on the grid but he's obviously solved his problem between practice and race time. He had a fantastic start and he's now up into third place in front of Stuart Cosgrove. Number 65 there in fifth. And a Gerard Kyo in fifth place then, number 65. That's second place man you're looking at at the moment, Mike Smith. Number 40. Going through Duckham's there. And Leslie Griffin right up over the grass on this great dice between Kyo and Cosgrave, just up over the hill. Smith normally isn't a front runner. Your third man and fourth man is Stuart Cosgrave, and Leslie Griffin are usually the front runners. But we have a new man on the scene today, Mike Smith, driving very, very well. So it's John Smith, and there you have unfortunate Ian Avril, who was on pole position as they're changing a the plug. There's the leader, so Avril, a sad day for him because he puts an awful lot of work on it. Look at this dice between Kyo and Cosgrave. Cosgrave on the inside, Kyo on the out. Cosgrave, 11 years abstinence from motorsport, yet he came back this season and he did a great outing a fortnight ago at Phoenix Park and going very strongly again here. But John Tracy really has been the man to beat in the last year on this. Ian Avril will be very disappointed. A pole position for the one that really counted this year. And there's Tracy just stroking ahead of Mike Smith there. And it looks as if Tracy is pulling out further on Smith. He seems to have got the legs and he's got the circuit sorted. His braking is impeccable, as is his car. But Smith had gained to within about five or six car lengths a lap or two ago. But John Tracy seems to have pulled out back to the advantage he had at the start of the race. Charging up from the back, Leslie Griffin in the great car and then Stuart Cosgrove. And that's Smith now passing the flag. This is Griffin, and then Stuart Cosgrove. Leslie Griffin just flashing through the you know, Burns the bodywork. Leslie Griffin, and uh, there he is again. There's the leader, and there's Smith right with him now. There's nothing he can do about it. Either that or the car is overheated. He lets Smith through into the lead. New leader then, Mike Smith, on the eighth lap of this 10-lap uh, record, 850 race, Mike Smith, number 40. Just going past one of the three B Fiat's up the back straight there, 15 Kieran Webster. That was most unfortunate for John Tracy. In fact, John probably doesn't know what's wrong with the car. And with all the smoke and that, he probably thinks, and it is, he's pulling into the pits. Unfortunately, John Tracy, our race leader for so many laps. So now it's a new race leader, number 40, Mike Smith, and the dice for second between Stuart Cosgrove and Leslie Griffin will really hot up. There's the leader, that's a back marker, and there's the battle for second place. Stuart Cosgrave in that distinctive yellow, red and blue mini with Leslie Griffin right on his tail and Joe behind him again. 
Well, this is a change of pace, and there they are. And it's Cosgrave that has the upper hand at the moment, but Leslie will be trying hard because with John Tracy out of it now, he can gain some valuable points in the championship. So it's Cosgrave from Leslie Griffin, and Leslie Griffin's alongside as they head down to Esso, the tight left-hander. There's our leader, number 40, Mike Smith. Mike Smith there. And there's John Tracy in the pits. And what a sad end for him. It must have been engine problem, not the bodywork filing. In fact, that was steam we were seeing coming out from under the front wheel. So, the race absolutely handed to number 40 there, Mike Smith. Now on his ninth lap. Just uh, going on to his last lap, and there's the battle for second place. Ian Avril's in there too, but he's already been in the pits. He's just out having fun. But there's Cosgrove. Cosgrove in second place. Avril is there, but he's a back marker. And, uh, and Leslie Griffin in third. Well, unfortunately, Ian has got in there in that good dice, and he's in, not in contention. And he's pushed Stuart Cosgrove out, and Leslie Griffin has got through. So disregard the red card there, Ian Averill. Now and Stuart pushes Leslie through the right-hander. Now this is a good dice. This is really neck and neck stuff. Leslie Griffin, number 38, got back into second place, but old Stuart is not going to let him away with that. That's our race dealer, number 40, Mike Smith. Unless something terrible happens to Smith now, number 40, he's going to stride home in this one. Mike Smith then almost assured now of first place, but second place far from decided. Here comes the leader, down into Esso for the last time then. He's just got to go round Castle up the Ford straight, round the tricky Dunlop hairpin, and the checker flag should be his. But the second place, and there it is, that's Avril. That was Ian Avril who'd been uh, lapped after a pit stop, the pole position man. But Smith, Mike Smith coming down to win this one. A good drive, and Leslie Griffin still in second place, just ahead of Stuart Cosgrove, and I think that's the way it's going to be finishing, despite the fact that Cosgrove had two wheels on the grass, Griffin is second, Cosgrove is third, and then we have a long, long time to wait before fourth place one. And race winner there, number 40, Mike Smith. And we have no checkered flag, they must have one more lap to do. One more lap to do, so we have Mike Smith still with a lap to do. So the battle for second is still going. Mike Smith with a tremendous lead. That's Ian Averill who's been lapped, and we wait for the second part, dice. Oh, Smith, Smith. pulled off. Mike Smith has pulled off. And uh, a disaster on his very last lap, Mike Smith pulls off, so the battle for second place with Leslie Griffin and Stuart Cosgrove now becomes first place. There is the battle now for first place, so a sensational finish to this race. Leslie Griffin having inherited on the very last lap, and Stuart Cosgrove still hasn't given up. Stuart Cosgrove then, number 30 challenging for the lead as they come down to what surely must now be the checkered flag. Well, we have just found out that this is a 12-lap race. Unfortunately, we didn't want to mislead you. We thought it was a 10-lap. It's a 12-lap race, so we still have a motor race on, and we still have a new leader, Leslie Griffin with Stuart Cosgrave, giving tremendous pressure to this left-hander. This is... Pushing and bumping and boring. There you are, number 38, Leslie Griffin, followed by Stuart Cosgrave. Mark Smith, then, who lost it all on the 11th lap. Mark Smith, a very sad man indeed, still trying to work out what happened. And everybody in the slight confusion here. And there's the leader, Leslie Griffin, and still Stuart Cosgrove challenging on what we now can confirm is their last lap. 11 laps completed now coming up. To the checkered flag, there's Ian Avril, he's a back marker, there's the leader. Leslie Griffin then, who really has had a fabulous lot of fun with Stuart Cosgrove in second place. And still Cosgrove, going wide there, tries to stay with him. He's only one corner that he can do it on now, and this is it. Leslie Griffin going out wide, Stuart Cosgrove in second place. They're absolutely side by side as they come up. And he pulls out of the slipstream, but it's Griffin. Cosgrave is second. 
and in third place is going to be Gordon Webster, number 44, and in fourth, the first of the 1300 production saloons, Larry Mooney.